The antibody cetuximab, registered commercially as Herbitux, is a prominent example of an antibody that acts against EGF receptors. Cetuximab binds to an antigenic site within the extracellular domain of the EGF receptor ERB-B1 and inhibits the binding of its ligand EGF. Thus, the presence of cetuximab prevents formation of both the ERB-B1 receptor homodimer and the heterodimer with ERB-B2. Cetuximab is used in the treatment of colon cancer as well as cancers of the head and neck. The antibody panitumumab registered trademark Vectibix binds to an antigenic site within the extracellular domain of the EGF receptor ERB-B1 and inhibits the activation of the receptor after binding of the ligand and heterodimerization. Thus, in the presence of panitumumab, the receptor does not phosphorylate the intracellular tyrosine residues. Sensitivity to cetuximab and panitumumab correlates negatively with the number of EGF receptor proteins in the cell membrane. In other words, cells overexpressing the EGF receptor gene are resistant to these drugs. In addition, mutations in a protein located in a pathway downstream of the EGF receptor result in resistance to panitumumab. That is why panitumumab is used only in the treatment of colon tumors without mutations in the proto-oncogene RAS. The antibody pertuzumab registered trademark Omnitark binds to an antigenic site within the extracellular domain of the EGF receptor ERB-B2 and inhibits its heterodimerization with all other members of the EGF receptor family. The two monomers can no longer dimerize, regardless of whether a ligand such as EGF is present or not. Pertuzumab is active in tumor cells, independently of the expression level of ERB-B2. It is used in the therapy of several tumor types, including lung and breast tumors. Trastuzumab, registered trade name Herceptin, was the first antibody to be developed to treat tumors with activated EGF receptors. Of all the antibodies used in cancer therapy, trastuzumab is the best characterized. Trastuzumab binds to an antigenic site within the extracellular domain of the receptor ERB-B2 and inhibits the activation of the receptor, independently of ligand binding and heterodimerization. Thus, in the presence of trastuzumab, the receptor does not phosphorylate the intracellular tyrosine residues. Trastuzumab is indicated for the treatment of breast and stomach tumors with increased ERB-B2 expression. The antibody is also effective in patients whose tumors show ERB-B2 gene amplification but do not show ERB-B2 overexpression via immunohistochemistry. This could be the result of tumor cells shedding the ERB-B2 protein, which in turn results in a lower immunohistochemical signal.